Hi, <laughs> beautiful! I have new merch! And I have it on right now. This is it. This is it. It's so cute. It's taken a while to come up with a new design, but I'm so happy with this new hoodie. It's so freaking cute. Oh my God, live your extra life, honey. It's like vintage wash, like it looks kind of worn in. It's supposed to look like that. It's like trendy with my X's on the side and live your extra life in the back. And I am just so happy I finally get to show you guys this hoodie. I'm obsessed and I hope you guys like it. Two years ago, Brad was a little different than the Brad you see today. So I wanted to reflect that in my new merch. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you guys would like to purchase a hoodie, you can do so now. It is live on fanjoy.co slash Brad and the link will of course be below. So if you'd like to, you know, get your hands on one of these babies, then you can. That's that. Anyways, on to what you really came here for, which is John Cena. I have been harassed on social media for the last week. <laughs> Joanna changed her hair color. I know. And I need you to calm down. Literally uploaded a video today. Literally the only comment was, Joanna said he colored her hair. React to it. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I'm getting there. Your wish is my command. I'm excited, I heard it's good, and I wanna see what really happened with Joanna's hair. I know we have this little thing going on on YouTube right now with these hair videos, but <sighs> when's it gonna end? When are we tapping out? When am I gonna do your hair? What is going on? What's happening? Let's watch Joanna Cedia, Joanna Cedia, 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 John Cena color her hair. Let's do it. Let your actual life. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I was just trying to find Joanna's hair videos. What is time? Her last hair video was uploaded seven months <gasps> ago. What? Life is crazy. All right, so we're here. And this video is called I Bleached My Hair. I saw the thumbnail. <laughs> I think it's no secret that I've always had my qualms with my hair. It was boring and brown. I was never happy. It was time for a change. And what better time than now, after high school has ended and right before I'm about to enter into university, to completely mess up my hair and do whatever I wish to it. And besides, I want to look like Madonna. Like, <laughs> why do I get so excited when people change their hair? <laughs> I'm such a loser. I genuinely just got so, like, giddy when she was like, my hair is boring, I needed to change, and I'm gonna do it. Like, yes, Joanna. The next time, I think we maybe shouldn't do it ourselves, but what do I know? Hello, my dudes. My name is Joanna Cedia. I am 18 years old. I am a two-time hairdresser's react offender, and I'm here to make that three. Joanna, thank you so much for the content. I should just give Joanna my AdSense checks. <laughs> Microphones, I, I can't. Make this look good. I mean, I would get this professionally done, but where's the fun in that? Very this correctly. True. I've been shampooing <laughs> and conditioning every single day. I've been using hair masks. What the heck is a hair mask? How is your hair supposed to wear a mask? I don't know. So, what? <laughs> oh, God. She's like a comedic <laughs> genius. And that is such an enlightening question. How is your hair supposed to wear a mask? I want the answer to that. Virgin brown hair, low there. So I'm gonna take things slow. Oh my god, it is virgin I hair. I don't really know how my hair is gonna respond to the bleach. I bought this hair oh lightening god. kit. We're gonna see if it works. What is that? Okay, we're gonna go as blonde as possible, just for your information. We'll keep going with this process on Monday. And then, if it still doesn't look right, we're going to take the magic eraser and pretend like it never even happened. What? I know for a fact she's not about to shave her head. I know it. Also, <clears throat> I would love to have got my hands on that virgin hair before it gets completely botched, but we can't all get what we wish for in life. Hey, at least she made some content out of it. I mean, I, I always say guys, if you're gonna mess up your hair, do it on camera and send it to me. Like, don't be, Selfish. Let's get bleaching. I think it's worth mentioning, I just took a passport photo with my brown hair. So does that mean I will have to cross out my hair on my passport? Yes. As the concoction from hell? Let's get painting, my dudes. Oh my. I don't like this. Don't forget the sideburns, my dudes. Just shaving my head is looking more and more appetizing, if you know what I mean. I just got bleach on my microphone. No. Something's burning. I'm gonna be 
be blonde after this. No, you're gonna be orange. Oh, God. oh that's fast. <gasps> Someone's eager. That's for sure. No. I don't think this does not look good. I am putting no. the absolute most effort into this. No. It is ma mammoth. Silly. Dear Joanna, what the f are you doing? I know for a fact you've seen hairdresser reacts before. And I want to know what's going on. Starting at the damn root. I see you. I see you. I wouldn't recommend that because your roots are going to pick up way faster than your ends are going to. So you're going to end up with white roots and orange ends because your roots process faster. So you want to do them last. When you're coloring virgin hairs, typically you don't start at the roots because you're going to get the heat from the scalp, which is gonna process it faster than the mids and the ends. Or you can use foil to promote heat on the mids and the ends. That way your roots and your ends process at the same speed and process the same lightness. So you get an even result all the way through. Joanna here is just slapping that on. And I bet you this is some very, very strong bleach. And I bet you it's gonna be body as hell, because there is no sectioning going on, nothing good actually going on. So why don't we just keep watching? Now you're probably wondering, Joanna, are you going to bleach your eyebrows? No, it, it's part of the look. This I would actually love Joanna. to see her bleach eyebrows. Like she would go from like Girl Next Door, John Cena to like, oh, editorial, ooh, Vogue, Italia, like, ooh. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time that I call in Mother Goose to get the back ends. Because there's only so much you can Mother do Goose is going to help you? Mom. Mom. Everybody say hi to Mother Goose. Hi. You Mom. You just have to paint it on my hair. Yes, it did take a lot of convincing work on my part to convince my mother to be okay with this. I'm not okay. You are not okay. That's right, Mom. <laughs> what happened, though? Why would you let Miss Joanna do that? Mama Goose. But thank you because she recorded it and now I get to make a video about it. So I actually really appreciate that, Mama Goose. I got you, girl. I'm gonna look like Madonna and she's gonna be okay with it. Right, Mom? Oh, she's really going for it. Look at that. Technique with Mama. What the heck? Mom is going in on the back of that hair. She is like, there will not be any missed spots with me. Mm -mm. You might have missed spots in the front, but there is gonna be nothing with me because I'm gonna get deep in that hair. I'm not gonna miss any spots for Mr. Brad Mondo. Might be watching this. She knows. I know she knows. I can see that she knows, okay? And girl, I got you. Love you, Mama Goose. I'm gonna let it marinate for a while, you know? Oh, get yeah. chicken ready. And then I'll come back Marinated. there and hopefully I'll be the blonde goddess. Let me make one prediction what's gonna happen. Her roots are gonna be white with miss spots, probably. Her ends are gonna be orange. And she's probably gonna miss a ton of spots in the ends, too. Once again, guys, say with me, bleach doesn't lather. Though it would be cool if there was a lathering bleach. My mind is so powerful. Nobody take that idea. Um, people like to just dump it on their head and swish it around and hope for the best. It actually doesn't work like that. I know, kind of crazy, but yeah. Let's see what happened. Um, we put a what? cap on. Hello, Wait, why are her ends not colored at all? <laughs> Joanna, do you not notice that they're not even colored even a little bit? What am I missing here? I am blonde, that's for sure. So I'm gonna wash this out. This is so exciting for her though. I'm, I'm genuinely excited. One thing's for sure, it is very hot in here. Yeah. I don't know if it's the chemical reactions yeah. going on, the mm -hmm. exothermic processes. Yes. That's probably very wrong. No, it is exothermic actually. So I love that. <laughs> So here's the dealio. As I had predicted, the <laughs> are still here and I have to get rid of them. So I'm gonna take a day of rest for my hair if you slow motion stuff. Missed the ends, Joanna. We missed the ends. Though the roots do look, oh, actually, no, she definitely missed some spots up there. So let's continue. I don't want to just bombard it with bleach and have it all fall off. On Monday, we'll come back oh, and do something about these What ends, is that? And then 
maybe tone it. It's looking a little bit yellow. The box told me to wait 14 days after I bleach it to tone it, but excuse you. Okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify two things going on here. This might be controversial, but I don't believe that waiting a day in between is going to make any bit of a difference than you doing it in the same day. It's already dead. You can't bring a dead thing and kill it some more and then bring it back to life when it was never living. So actually it doesn't really matter if you do any treatments or anything. It'll make it feel better, smoother, but it actually won't make a difference if you bleach today or tomorrow. Also, what is that box dye? You can't tone it for 14 days? What the? Do I look like Madonna yet? I don't. No. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Good morning, my dudes. It's Hi. me, and I'm blonde. How are we doing? I'm going over to Shoppers Drug Mart right now to oh. buy the rest of the bleach. I'm not gonna lie, though. I like her light hair a lot. She looks so much more fun already. And, like, even if it comes out bad, at least she, like, did something with it. We've reached the mother load. This has to be the most terrifying thing in all of human history. What? Tea! It is! So stressful. Hello, my dudes. So we're back in my bathroom where arguably nothing good ever happens. And we're going to finish. I'd have to agree. However, disagree. Because there has been some great videos that came out of that bathroom. I bought the same flash lightning kit that I used last time. And then I also bought this toner. But yeah, I actually went about my day with this exact hair. My mom and I, we went to Ikea to get a new bookcase. There were some very passive aggressive stares in my direction. Some angry mothers definitely looked at me. But you know what? I look fabulous. But yeah, we're getting to the point here where if I make a wrong move, probably the only solution will be to go to the hairdresser and I want to avoid that at all costs because they're going to have a lot of questions and some questions that I won't even be able to answer. <laughs> okay, put the brush down. We are now taking the ends of our hair and slapping on more bleach right on the surface. There's no section going on. It's just painting it away. Hopefully, somehow, this isn't tragic. Even if she went to a hairstylist at this very moment. It would be very hard to fix this. I should have been using aluminum foil this entire time because the CIA does look at your thoughts. So guys, I'm doing a thing. <laughs> look at me go. <laughs> yes. I'm really sorry if this is not what you wanted to see. Oh ah, no. I can't wait to go platinum blonde. Speaking of platinum, my new album self-titled I Bleached My Hair is going to hit the ground running. Billboard Hot 100 <laughs> more like Billboard Hot 1. <laughs> Stop! Uh, you're making me laugh. Ow. Just sandwich it. I was also thinking, what's gonna happen when my roots start to grow in? I'm gonna be frank with you, I don't wanna have to do this every month. I can solve that problem. And that is maybe the only problem I can solve right now for you. I wouldn't have recommended going platinum, going fully blonde if you're not going to keep up with the roots. Because I know you aren't, Joanna. I can see it. That you're the type that would just let them go and be like, yeah, whatever, it's a look. And I'd be like, it's not a look. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna give yourself a little bit of a root shadow. You're gonna keep it really blonde. A nice face framing highlight. Get a little dimension back in there. Add some of that brown back and that'll help you. You see, you can be very light, but still have it grow in naturally and nicely without being a double processed platinum blonde empowered female like Madonna. We can't all be this high maintenance. <laughs> I color my hair every four weeks, so it's a commitment. Hi, so I had to call in Mother Goose once again. We ended up actually just bleaching the whole thing again. I'm gonna wait for this to do its <laughs> thing, and then we'll see if I have to tone it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, You're going my to have to tone I've been it. Hi, <laughs> what's up? Did you hear that I'm blonde? Those roots are so white. They are hanging on for dear life. And those ends are so orange. No. Joanna, next time. You know what? There should be no next time. But next time, I would recommend, you know, coloring the ends and just leaving the roots how they were. Listen, make sure you just use a ton of bleach. Make sure it's like caked on there, like white frosting. That's when you know you have enough on your hair. Definitely was not enough before. So I just got out of the shower. This is what it looks like. I look like a bad mutation of the disease Logan Paul. Once again, I did not experience any breakage. So are you proud of me, Brad Mondo? I hope you are. <laughs> now the color. It Am I proud of you? I guess. 
my slightly disappointed in um, the fact that you didn't take any of my hairdresser reacts advice. Yes, Joanna, I am hurt by that. Actually, I could possibly cry right now. You've learned nothing. I'm excited for the toner. I'm blind. Oh my god. I like don't hate it. At least she doesn't have massive dark spots that I can see on camera. She's definitely gonna need a toner. Hopefully that helps. And and it's just a fun change. Yeah, I love change, so. I am absolutely enthralled with this color. <laughs> Does it look right? No, especially with these eyebrows. Like there is, hey. something's not right up here. So now what I'm going to do is- You should need more is, cool toned blonde. Of... When you have dark eyebrows and light hair, typically a cool blonde will suit you better and Say if you have really light eyebrows, maybe a more warm tone blonde will suit you better. More cool tone blonde would definitely suit her better. She has pink undertones in her skin, and that's not always a really good to follow, but I, I can definitely see looking at her through the screen here that she would definitely look a lot better with a more silvery white blonde type of vibe. We're still very yellow, and I wanna be more white. Yes. I didn't mean to be racist there. Please, <laughs> America, I'm sorry. Look, I'm in the washroom again. It was time for me to tone my hair and go full. Uh, uh, Feria Absolute Platinum Extreme Lightning System. Oh, oh no. That was supposed to be a joke, but it turned into a real thing, and I didn't like that. Sorry about that. Joanna. <laughs> This doesn't look like a toner. Who said this was a toner? In case you're wondering, Brad, what is it? What exactly is a toner? Basically, a toner refer to something that doesn't lift your hair. It deposits only. So typically, permanent color or bleach, more more like permanent color. Permanent color lifts your hair and then deposits tone. So it's gonna get really deep in that hair cuticle. So when you've already lightened your hair with bleach, it's already done that lightening process for you. And so all you have to do then, after that, is deposit the color in. Hence why we call it a toner and not permanent color. This looks like a permanent coloring kit or it just looks like bleach and then a toner involved with it. I don't know, man. It's just not the right thing for you. Platinum. Here's what I did. I decided to return that blonde kit that I got that morning and exchange it for this one. These kits actually come with bleach and toner in them and I wasn't about to fry my hair for a third okay. time that day and certainly- Okay, so it is a bleaching kit. Okay, okay. And she's just gonna use the toner? And her ramen noodle territory. So I tossed the bleach paraphernalia and kept only the toner. I can feel Brad Mondo cringing through the screen right now. So I got my hair all nice and wet and applied a big- Oh, what is that spot? Oh, there's spots everywhere. That purple poop pile to my hair. Now, to be frank with you, I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is. That looked more like purple conditioner and a very, very diluted form of purple conditioner. There's no way that that was a toner. That was definitely the, just the conditioner that came with the blonding kit. This is not gonna do anything at all. Massaged it in and let it sit for five minutes. No more or no less though, because the L'Oreal Paris gods will get mad at you and materialize out of thin air to zap your butt back to the stone. Did the toner work? Honestly, I can't tell. Was my hair a little No, it didn't. Stubborn? I think so. I mean, depending which way the light hit my hair, it wasn't looking like yellow. Oh, oh, it's so yellow. This whole operation had exhausted itself already. My hair was- Oh, oh. But she looks like a grown woman now. She looks Looks like she is living her best extra life. I'm gonna say it. I'd rather her mess up her hair and it look like this than she just left it as is and just never had changed it. You know what? I always say it, but changing your hair is one of the most fun things you can do in life and it just makes you feel like a new person. Even if it looks bad, like it's just still fun, you know? I look like some sick, mutated Gwen Stefani person. <laughs> Actually, do I regret this? No, I love it. It was extremely fun. Yay! However, I may or may not have booked a hairdresser appointment for tomorrow to fix the yellow tones, okay? I'll have to look at my phone, Joanna, because I don't think we booked any appointments for tomorrow but I will have to check my calendar. My assistant might have booked you and not told me, but um, we'll have to see on that one. So it ended up actually not being the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm quite impressed with how sort of even it came out. I mean, the application was nuts and crazy and uh, it actually wasn't like the worst, worst, worst thing that could have happened. So for that, I say, Joanna, you killed it. You rocked it, sister. You are oof. You 
freaking nailed it. Yes. And that is all for today. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Brad and Eric. A new video will be up very soon. It is sort of reality show style of my life. It's gonna be really fun. We have some really amazing videos in store for you guys. So go check that out, it'll be linked below. Check out my merch, link below also. And thank you in advance if you support me. If you wanna buy, buy it. If you don't, you don't. But thank you to whoever does. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BradMondoNYC. Make sure you follow my hair care brand on Instagram at XMondoHair. And don't forget to live your extra life. Huh? And I will see you. Oh, next time. Peace.